What's up, everybody? My name is Danny Ferrari. My name is Parker Ament. And we are Excellent Sound, also known as the Bad Boys of EDM. Oh, you know Show them. Okay? And we're back with amazing videos. We just dropped Gorilla, early access. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but after a pack comes out, I'm dead. Obviously, we changed some stuff around, or I did, while Parker was swimming in the beautiful waters of mm -hmm. Hawaii. Yeah, dude. You know what they say, Hawaii, right? He was aloha-ing and shit. I was out here changing the entire room around. As you can see, we got some backlights. You guys will see the side shot in a minute. It's Show them the dual blues, dude. Dual blues, right? Lightsabers in the back. Shout mm -hmm. out, right? So, guys, girls, listen up. Gorilla, early access might still be thank you available for to purchase okay there's a thousand copies of early access mm -hmm. you guys can go right now there's a link in the description okay and when you click that link we're going to send you a purchase link. and when you purchase the early access of gorilla do you know what you get no. seven project files mm -hmm. yeah i don't know drummers can I only think... count to four hey yeah. oh oh no right. we, we got, I could try, I could, I could count to seven you can't count to 400, whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to get all those serum presets, right? You're going to get the redacted pack, okay? That was because a you guys, we're going to tell you guys what's going on with that. All right, I'm trying to make this short intro, bro, okay? Like the video, subscribe. Wait, can I tell them what my oh, favorite thing is? Sake. Come on, Gorilla Giveaway, Right. okay? We're going to be announcing the winner on April 15th, so right. I think that's in a couple weeks. Yes. Giving away a complete ultimate uh, S49, dude. Ooh. $500 gift card to the Excellent Store. Ooh. Yeah, dude, squeal it out, dude. Yamaha? Some Yamahas, dude. Ooh. Headphones, too, dude. Yep, some, these, some of these, these nice. These guys right over there. All about Yoinks, okay? Mm -hmm. Listen, Yoinks, when we first heard him, I know the guy's asleep in the back. Don't worry about him. He loves Yoinks. Okay, so Yoinks, what they are essentially are an amazing sound that was sort of popularized by Skrillex and I would say Virtual Riot. Okay? Yeah, me too. Me they too. sound like this. <laughs> That's like a yoink, okay? It's like a very metallic sound. It's actually not that hard, right? It's so a huge drop tool. It's a huge drop tool. If you listen to a lot of Virtual Riots, like especially his drops, most of them are like, I'd say yoink bass, like those type of sounds. Totally. They're very fresh and modern. So we're gonna be going over how to actually make your yoinks and give you guys some tips on how to do it quickly, easy, efficiently, and how to be able to customize your own. Damn, with one breath. One breath, and I hiccuped. Let's fucking go. Right, okay, so we're gonna be doing that, and we're gonna free download for the whatever preset. We're making it live here on the fly. But yeah, the link for that is in the description. Subscribe, like, comment, let's fucking get in the video, bro. All right, so one thing that I was like really stoked about Gorilla was all of the insane bass one shots that we made for it. I mean, I I think there's like 156 or something Dude, crazy like so that. Dude, they're so insane. There's a lot. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys some. Dude, it's literally drag and drop, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Who else said that? Who? Johnny Joe Ryan. Giant Joyride. So, Giant Joyride. I mean, there's so many base one shots, right? And some at the very bottom are some of these yoinks, and oh boy, are these nasty. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this one, too. This is a chomp. <laughs> But it's still very yoinky, right? Yeah. So a yoink consists of like this specific sort of like, right? It's, yeah. It, it, it kind of stays at that point and it always has some type of cool reverb. So we're going to talk about that. So there's going to be a rack involved. Okay. So to make yoinks like this, right? The main point that you kind of want to start with is let's start with a basic serum. Okay. We're going to go over everything you need to be able to make a beautiful, beautiful yoink. You could do this with just sine waves. I just want to say that right out the bat. Okay. So if you want to do two sine waves, that's totally fine. But the customization kind of comes in later. So we're just going to go with the basics, but I'm going to start with a digital sort of wave table. Okay. Something that's probably already made through FM. Let's go with Claude Debussy, dude, Gary Debussy. All right, so first thing first is the shape, okay? So the shape of a yoink is ADSR, as Parker would like to say, is something mm -hmm. like this, okay? So first thing you wanna do is make sure you get this sort of LFO shape, okay? Let's go ahead and set that to envelope. I'm gonna set it to quarter note. I'm gonna throw it on the LFO. I'm gonna turn it all the way up, right? Short, quick, and gone before you know it, okay? Just like me. And then you're going to go ahead and use an oscillator B, okay? Your oscillator B is going to be your carrier or your FM. Now, you could do this multiple ways. I'm going to go in and show you guys that later. But for now, for this sort of yoink that we're going to be making on the fly, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use sync, and I'm just going to leave the default saw wave, okay? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a second LFO. This LFO is going to look something like this. This is like a very important part of the yoink system, okay? The excellent sound patent pending copyright 2012 yoink system is this shape right here pretty simple set it to envelope and quarter note that's fine before we go ahead and apply this to something the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find a nice little fm tone okay that kind of sounds nice and hairy let me let me take this off for a second kind of like that okay so let's pick the level back down we'll go ahead and put this bad boy right there 
Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Let's go ahead and now apply sync right to this oscillator B we're gonna use this wavetable right so it's gonna go forward and it's just gonna stop where it lands and this level down oh there we go that's not you're using your ears right now to kind of match the pitches between both of the oscillators correct yeah and also this FM is is the pitch right if I want to do a higher pitch yoink yeah. you could kind of hear it start to sound like it already if I change this a little too high too low. Maybe I go, maybe you can go backwards. That's cool. I kind of like it back this way. It does have that characteristic of right, the opening yo, up. Yo. The yeah. Right? And then, of course, the FM, you could dial this in however you feel. Why does Serum do this? Why, what's going on here, Duda? Let's get an update. You could also like modulate the FM. We'll get into that later. You could modulate it. Just, just don't do it too much. I like it there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and apply the next important thing, which is the filter. Use multi, and then you're gonna use a high pass HP 12, okay? Set your cutoff in the sweet spot like that. Now, most of the time we'd be like, all right, let's go ahead and use our main LFO for that. No, sir. No, madam. No, sir. No, miss. No, mister, okay? We're gonna go ahead and use LFO2 for this because the we want that sort of thing, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the cutoff like so, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it goes both ways, and I'm gonna go ahead and click it forward. A big thing too is a lot of resonance. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice peak right there. And then dial this in accordingly. That's a higher pitch yoink. There we go. I kind of like that's that. That's nice. And then you have this second frequency knob, and this is where it really comes into play. So you could do two things, okay? You can have this frequency knob sort of move backwards to this peak over here, like so. Start back here and have it go like, like to here. Pretty nice, right? Or what you could do is you could just kind of leave this in place. These two peaks right here are what's making it sound vocally and like a yoink, I would say. Another thing you could do is also use this resonance, right? So I'm actually gonna use this LFO on this. I still want resonance peak because that's gonna give it sort of that yeah. sound. But I want it to be very, very high extended at the very end. Or I can have it start very high and maybe bring it down a little bit. That's kind of nice. Also, let's add a little bit of drive on this. Okay, the drive's gonna kind of come in and be very loud at the very end of the sound. So that's why we're using this LFO. A little too much. I don't want to peak too much either. Now that we got that, that's sounding pretty good. Now, if you're Virtual Riot, a lot of times he does stuff like this. He'll go ahead and add a bunch of unison. Let's say we add like six unison, turn the random down on the first oscillator, and then go ahead and adjust the detune. Getting sort of that lasery. And then you can also apply this on the detune as well. And you get that sort of lasery sound, you know? But I kind of want to do less, just a little bit. A little bit of texture on there. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, cool. Now that we got that, let's add a sub. Okay, I'm just going to use a triangle wave. I'm going to set it to direct out, and I'm going to go ahead and use the ADSR, sort of the envelope shape to this. Beautiful. All right, now let's go ahead and get into some processing. First thing we want to do is I want to add a multiband compressor. I want to see what's happening. I'm just going to turn it on turn the gain up. Beautiful. Maybe we do something on this. Yeah, that gives it a little yoy, too. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and add this on here. You don't want to go too crazy with the wavetable types, right? Because our movement's coming from here, but just a little bit of movement might be cool. <laughs> kind of dial it in how you want, right? Okay, so now we got that. Let's go back into here. Let's go ahead and add a distortion, a little bit of tube distortion, not too much. <laughs> let's go ahead and also add this so the very end of the sound has that sort of loudest point. <laughs> now let's go ahead and add an EQ. I'm going to put this above the compressor, and I'm going to add some more notches, probably just one that kind of moves through pretty simply just to try to get some formants moving. <laughs> There you go. High resonance peak. Maybe the gain goes up at the very end. Very important of the sound, right? This EQ, this filter, right? The FM, okay? This shape and this shape is everything about the yoink. You know what I'm saying, dude? You know what I'm saying, bro? I love it. I okay. love it. Let's go ahead and add another peak for fun. You could do another peak like this, but I think I want to do this more phasey. Like, that kind of makes it more growly. If I go this way with it, so I kind of like that. So I don't want too much movement. Let's try that. 
That's not necessary, but I just kind of like it. Again, like I'm gonna kind of show you how you guys can customize these and do them yourself. Maybe it's up. I like the, I like the sort of phasiness of it. Maybe we add a hyper dimension. Let's see what happens. That's a little much, but maybe this sort of this 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 LFO is everything. I'm telling you guys at the very end of the sound. That shape that shapes it really nice. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and add another important piece. This is also a very, very important piece is your filter. You're going to want to go ahead and use a comb filter, comb minus anything that sort sounds sort of metallic. You don't have to do too much. You just kind of want to find like a lower cutoff point and then maybe adjust the resonance and then turn down the mix. It stays balanced right there too. And then look at this cutoff. Like if you put like a macro on this or whatever, you know, if you go too low with it, then it's going to get that sort of reflection sound, which which you could do, but we don't really want that yet because we're going to do some post-processing. That's kind of cool. Just a little bit. Right, I'll do comb frequency. And also, if you guys love sounds like this, we make custom sounds for our patrons. If you guys want to go ahead and support us right now, the link is in the description down below. We have tons of sounds for our VIP tier. Also, you get project files from all the remakes that we've done. It's really sick, dude. Yeah, like we have a honestly, lot of it's very exclusive too. Not a lot of people know about our Patreon either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go check it out. There's there's something there for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. There's probably over 400 project files on there. Almost uh, 200. Almost 200 project files. I love the mystery loot and the ultimate tier that we're going to add after this video is Ooh. dinner with Danny and Parker. You're going to add that? Yeah, dude. Are we paying for it? $250,000 an hour. <laughs> like Drake? <laughs> yeah. Drake Studio? Just like Drake. 250 k So back into this. So the comb filter, I got a nice little... I kind of like that. Yeah. It's a nice resonant peak. And I want to lower the resonance just a tud because I don't oh, want it to be man. too feedback -y. Oh, man. Because it's going to be accentuated after the I know. The you're right. You're right. Only compress it. But what I could do is also add, you know, a little bit of a uh, macro on here. I right? like that. I like that. Forget how to Peak type. it up. Peak it up, dude. Comb resi, dude. <laughs> Now it sounds like a yoink, yep. right? Okay, so now let's go on beyond that, right? Let's go ahead and talk about how we can make that even more so, how you can do different sort of results with it. Comb filter, right? The position of the comb is going to do quite a bit. The notches, as far as where they go uh, frequency-wise, there are sweet spots. You can't go too far with this, and you can't go too far with this. But mainly with this, when you get into the wavetables is really where you can kind of see some difference. A high-pass filter also is a big thing. If I put a macro on this, right? And let's go ahead and make sure it goes kind of like to there. That's too much. I probably want to. That's cool. Right? And then I can also do it with this, this frequency as well. Right? I'm going to put a macro on here. I wish I had more macros, dude. What should we call this, dude? Freak on a leash, dude. Freak leash one. <laughs> and then this will be Freak Leash too. <laughs> Feeling like a freak on a leg. Dude, corn sucks. So Freaky Leash too. <laughs> so you can get a lot of different characteristics. I kind of liked it where it was before. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right, cool. So that's one way you can kind of alter it, right? Maybe... <laughs> Really kind of cool as far as what you can do. So now that we got our nice little, another thing you could do to kind of change the sound of this, you could also like change the semitones, which is kind of fun, as well as also apply something like this to the course pitch. Maybe it goes down. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff like that. Or what else you can do is let's say we take off the sync and let's go ahead and add octaves. You can get a lot of different tonality that way. Or what also you could do is you could also change the wavetable. Maybe we go with something like a sign, you know, a basic shape. Or a square. And then maybe I change it back to sync. That's a little much, but like. That's dirty. Right? I'm going to go back to our saw the way we had it because I really like the way. But that's like a couple different ways you can kind of change it, you know? And then also changing this wavetable to something a little bit, you know, simpler. But I like using like a digital wavetable with not too much going on. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back to zero. 
And then another thing you could do now is you could also, if you want to get like a little bit more metallic -y, you can add some chorus, right? And you could also add some reverb to kind of get that reverb throw that happens at the end of it. But we're going to do something a little bit different here. I have a little preset here. I call it like purple Lambo chorus. Right? Or, I, you know, I might mess around and do something like uh, the Yo Man chorus. Right? You can do a lot of that type of stuff. You guys can copy these settings if you'd like. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to keep it stock how we had it because I'm really vibing with it. So now let's go ahead and get into the processing, okay? One thing you can do right out of the gate, most people don't fucking know this. You could just take a uh, serum, right? And I can go ahead and drag this actual sound out like this, right? Little, little nug and nodge right there. If you guys didn't fucking know this, this is crazy, right? You could grab your yoink or your patch right out of serum and it'll record the last note that you have there. Whatever note you hit last. <laughs> Pretty sick, right? So I'm gonna come back to that. Now, before this video started, I was messing around practicing and I made this yoink. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get it into some processing. So now we got these. We're gonna use the excellent fat rack. Why not, right? Yeah, baby. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in. And also too, if you guys like these sounds, obviously you guys can get these in our new pack, Gorilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the fat rack. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and also sometimes like people like to use like the vocoder. A lot of people are doing the vocoder thing nowadays, right? I think I have like a little virtual riot preset vocoder. <laughs> right? I wanna go ahead and use, let's say, modular. Turn the depth down. And do like, I don't know, we could do more bands. Turn this up. Get a little different characteristics. Right, I like to do that quite a bit. Maybe ban is too hard. Now here's the big things about Yoink that people don't really realize, right? That they forget about. This is where I'm gonna need your help, Parker, okay? Yep. We're gonna go ahead and use, we're using Ableton 11 in this one, if you guys haven't noticed. We're gonna go ahead and use the hybrid reverb. That's right. Fantastic. I don't know how to really use this fucking thing, but Parker's gonna help me. Okay, so right now, we have, well, I don't even know what sound this is in here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a Yoink that we have brought in here before. And let's see what happens when we drag that. Because a lot of times with Yoinks, the reverb is in like a different pitch. Yep. And I think that's what makes them sound so cool is the reverb throw afterwards. Totally. Right? Let's drag that in and see what happens. So we want a short decay. So you can kind of hear it, right? Let's go ahead and mess with the mix a little bit. And let's maybe, should we do, probably do a throw, huh? Uh, yeah, you should mess with the size. That's with the size and the decay. No, not there, the over here. Parker's teaching me, bro. I wish you could uh, automate the size, but you can't. This like is your you. blend. You might just want the reverb and not, not the actual. Yeah. So the size is like for um, the pitch. So if you change. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna need to do this. Yeah, there, yeah, it's kind of doing it, but I don't want it that long. That works too. That's kind of it, right? And then also, too, like maybe I'll bring in something like this. Yeah, and now put that like... sound in there into hybrid. Got it. It's all about the reverb with these fucking yoinks, man, I'm telling you. Whoa. There it is. The pre delay is a little short, it needs to be f like. Oh, and your dry wet is Ooh. turn your dry wet up too. Hold on, I just figured something out. I just this blend knob. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this blend knob. Throw the blend. I don't really use the hybrid. Like usually, what I would do is I would just take somebody else's like sort of reverb, right? And then I might pitch that reverb up. You can even take the purple Lamborghini Yoink reverb and just sort of cut that up and blend it, or add a reverb and then add a frequency shifter to that reverb to sort of get sort of this result. Yeah. So this is really cool because Parker's kind of teaching me something a little bit here, and we're all learning. <laughs> It's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. You could like automate a bunch of shit in this thing. Yeah, dude, it's really sick. 
I'll just show sort of one more technique that you could do as far as reverb. I'm gonna add one more reverb at the end. And you don't have to do this, but this is just one small technique. Take a reverb, add a frequency shifter, right? I'll go ahead and make this into a nice little organized sort of rack for you guys so you guys can kind of mess around with these. Yeah, we should definitely give them this one. If they're in 10, it's over with, bro. No more 10. You crackers. Wait, so we're not going to do 10 anymore? No. Sorry, guys. you got to be in 11. It's over. It's time to grow up. All right, so let's go ahead and add time this. Time to buy Ableton. Buy Ableton. I'll make this rack super cool for you guys. It'll be a little yoink throw rack, okay? Add a reverb, and then let's add a frequency shifter, something super, super simple. Fucking 11 took out the frequency shifter, didn't they? They changed it. Just type in shifter. Shift. Just type in shifter. I saved it on mine, dude. I got the 10. I always think I saved You could save, save all it. the 10s. It's called shifter? Yeah. Is yeah, it the that's same? That's it. No. I'm going to hate it. Yep. I hate it. Can I use the legacy one? Where is it? Packs? Didn't you favor it last time? I always do this, and then it never shows up. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. So add a frequency shifter. <laughs> Basically, I want to change the, the pitch of the reverb, okay? So, like, I'm going to turn this down. Let's go ahead and add no decay. So we just do, like, a little reverb throw, like a... That's nice. And then what you could do is this frequency shifter, right? Let's say... Let's say I want it to be like that. I can also change the dry wet so that it also comes in with the reverb. So it changes the pitches of the reverb as it goes. It's just a little weird sort of experimental sort of thing that you can kind of do. I like that. I never thought to use a frequency shifter on a, on a reverb throw. I like yeah, that a lot. Yeah, crazy, right? Yeah. So you got to kind of play around with it and experiment a bit. Now it has a different sort of pitch than the original reverb pitch or the sound is. And that really kind of cool. creates that sort of like really, really cool sort of sound that we love so much from the purple Lamborghini yoink. Yeah, know? it gives it that bite. Absolutely. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We really, really enjoy making this type of content for you guys. If you guys want to see more of this type of stuff, let us know. And don't forget, if you guys want sounds like this, there's tons of sounds like this in the Gorilla Early Access. You guys can check right now in the link down in the description to make sure you guys go and see if you can get a copy of Gorilla. As soon as you go to check stock, you can sign up for the list. If we have it in stock, we'll send you a link. You could purchase it right then and there, and you're going to get tons of bonuses. Yoinks, bass shots, Ooh. bass glitches, crazy serum presets. It's it's amazing. You guys have to go check it out. Yeah, it's our best pack ever, yep, and people are is. really, really enjoying it. We're getting great feedback from you guys, so we really appreciate it. Uh, we got more content coming down the way. I know we were going really, really hard with the Skrillex content and stuff. We're going to be changing up here in a little bit. We got a lot of exciting stuff. We're really excited to yeah, tell man. you guys about some awesome some announcements. We're going to slow down the content just a little bit because I know we were doing We're like, not slowing down content, I, you bro. You know what I mean? We're not <laughs> We're not slowing we're not down doing content. We're not three videos a week. We're not are we? slowing down content, we're not bro. We're slowing down shit. Listen up. Fucking train, bro. Listen up. Goddamn train to the content fucking island. And we're the all goddamn right? conductors. Yeah. Content on the way soon. Shut the fuck up. Subscribe by Gorilla. That's what I'm talking Do about. Do our Patreon. Fucking content to the dome. Content to the dome. Don't forget, free downloaded in the description below with the rack. We sound like WWE wrestlers. We're YouTubers. We're YouTubers. Influencers. Check Instagram. TikTok. And we're out. And we're out. <laughs>